Good morning guys. So it's Mary Beth with Rover's Makeover. I have a new client today. It's a Yorkie, Yorkie mix. Definitely not purebred Yorkie. Um, or it might be a purebred Yorkie, just poorly bred. Uh, and the owners know that. So, but here's what he looks like. So I'm just going to get him bathed. They want him relatively short, but not shaved. So, you know, not a 10 or a seven. I'll probably use like a four or five. There will be a lot of hand scissoring because it's a four or five and it's really, you know, it's Yorkie hair. So let's get started. First things first, you're gonna get a loop. You're gonna put it on the dog. I know y'all like the full length videos. If you guys don't wanna watch everything in the video, you can always skip ahead to the part that you want to watch. So, it's going to get the water warmed up. If you guys would go ahead and like that, you know, hit that like button or the dislike button, it doesn't matter to me. You know, if you don't like my videos, then let me know. Just hit the dislike button. If you like my videos, then go hit that like button, please. Turn the soap on. So I'm gonna tell y'all a little something. We have been having issues with one of our business neighbors. I have two business neighbors. I have one that's right next to me and then I have one that's next to them. Um, the business that is on the opposite side of me has apparently been smoking marijuana in, in their business um, or they're doing something with it or something because we can, I can smell it in the morning when I come in to work. And so my next door neighbor business um, came in last week and just said, hey, do you smell it in the morning too? And I was like, yeah. I was like, I can't have people thinking that I'm, you know, doing that while I'm at work because it'll give me, you know, a bad reputation. And so they were gonna talk to them and I don't know if they talked to them or not yet, but I came in this morning and I had to air out my, com you know, my whole shop because it just smells and it's against our lease. Right when um, it got passed here in Oklahoma, the landlord sent out, you know, contracts for us to sign stating that we wouldn't smoke it, we wouldn't sell it, you know, we wouldn't do anything related to that. And I mean, it's it's stinking up both all of our businesses and we can't have that. The people next to me can't have that because of the because of the business that they have, it's illegal. They can't do that. Uh so Yeah, it's just been, you know, and I'm not someone to jump and go call the landlord. So I'm gonna talk to my next door neighbor after I get this guy bathed, just walk over there and go talk to them and see if they've talked to them. And if they've talked to them and made it aware, you know, hey, we know what you're doing, then I will call the landlord. Um, because it could jeopardize my business and I'm, I, you know, I definitely don't want that. You're so sweet and calm. This guy definitely needs some conditioner. So I'm just going, this is just regular water. I'm gonna rinse this out a couple times. It had soap in it yesterday. Had a super dirty dog come in. Okay, so we're just gonna put some water 
and then we're going to just squirt some conditioner, give it a good shake, and then you just dump it on the dog. And then rub it in. And then I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes because his coat is rough. It, it really needs it. So I'm just gonna let him sit for a couple minutes and then I'll come back on and we'll get him rinsed off. All right, let's get him rinsed off. If you use slightly cooler water, it's better to rinse the conditioner off. Um, cold water closes the cuticles. Hot water opens it, I believe. That's how that goes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But his coat feels so much better with that conditioner. Okay. Just one squirt of Shoshin, maybe two. And then, got our towel, just going to dry him off, and then we'll get him in the cage dryer. So why do I use a cage dryer versus only drying them by hand? There's lots of reasons. A lot of the dogs prefer the cage dryer because it's not as forceful and it's not as loud. It's not as scary. The cage dryer allows me to do other things that I may need to do while the dog is still drying instead of me having to sit back there and dry the dog. Um, the cage dryers I have are temperature regulated. They are not the old school dryers that overheat and harm or kill dogs. These dryers I have are temperature regulated, meaning if it gets too hot in the cage, they shut off. They shut off. So, I have never had a dog overheat even using two dryers at the same time. I have had very few dogs even get hot and start panting when I have two dryers going. There is a ton of, you know, ventilation, <laughs> plenty of, of airflow. There's airflow on the bottom. The reason I have the grates on the bottom is so if they do urinate, it is not, you know, they're not going to sit in their own urine. So we're gonna get this guy dry. And then when he's done, we'll get him finished. All right, guys, we're gonna get this guy finished. I don't know how he'll tolerate the Dremel. Pretty well. to plug this in fifteen
a lot of dogs are born with a docked tail. Not all dogs are born with a full tail. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on some of the dogs that have docked tails. Um, there are some breeds that are born with naturally docked tails. Do a four. Just to get the length, just to see the length. Okay, so then I had someone ask the other day in the comments, can you do a guard reverse? Absolutely. I always try to go reverse on Yorkies. With their fine hair, it's, if you don't, it looks really choppy. See, it sits, it lays better if you do it reverse. It does take more time because you'll have to go over it multiple times to make sure everything's even. But the final, you know, look is a lot better than using a four. This is a five eighths. Okay, put all this in trash can. Then I'm going to get my thinning shears and we're going to work on these back legs.
Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, easy. You're okay. Easy. Come here, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. You're so cute.
right. I only like hand scissoring to a point. Like it's, come here. No, 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 no. No, sir. Mm -mm. Okay, I like around the neck to be a little shorter than the rest of the body, so I'm gonna keep this guard on here. And I'm just going to clean this up. Go ahead and do this face real quick. So this obviously is not a pure-blooded Yorkie, okay? Um, because Yorkies would have hair right here. But what we're going to do, I prefer the shaved ears versus the um, tipped ears. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, my dad called me. Still getting utilities and everything set up. This is a 30 blade I'm using. Boy.
Okay, so now I'm going to actually leave that on. Hard to trim a dog to look like a Yorkie when they don't have the full, you know, coat. No, no, no. Trying to get done. Um, UPS store called me. You're not making this very easy, boy. I'm gonna have to take a four reverse to this neck. Um, he's just not letting me get it done. buddy. Ugh, this dog is just looking more rough and more rough when I do this. Just not the right face for a Yorkie cut.
Had a call. Get this leg done first. No, no, no. Okay, now we're just gonna trim this. Okay, I'm gonna get a bandana. And then he is done, guys. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.